We have all faced this at some point in our designs. We have three or more edges converging roughly around the same area but not exactly meeting at a common point. We then apply a fillet to all these edges and it becomes a mess. Let's take a look at how we can fix this manually with surfacing. I have provided a link to this file in the description below. To follow along, please roll the timeline back to the point just after the fillets. The strategy here is to delete faces and build a patch surface that allows the fillets to blend into one another smoothly. We cannot just simply delete these faces and patch. The approach needs to be much neater and more targeted. We will have to perform some sketches to split the faces. The first step is to try to identify lines that are already parallel to the primary axis. We will make use of these lines as references. These lines will often provide clues as to how to split the faces naturally. Let's perform a sketch on this face. A natural way to split this surface will be to join these two existing lines. Snap one end of the line to this point. Hover the cursor over this point, and as you move towards the left, you can see an inferred horizontal relation in the form of a construction line. This will allow you to define the length of the vertical line without manually adding constraints. Add in the horizontal line. Confirm the sketch. Go to Modify, Split Face. Select this face to split. For splitting tool, click on the select box and select the sketch line. With this, we have created this split face. The whole point of this is to try to draw a natural looking boundary that encircles all the fragmented faces. The next obvious area to fix would be this region. Let's perform a sketch on this face and use this line as a reference. Simply draw a straight line that snaps to this point and extend it all the way up. Use this to perform a split face. In this case, we want to select these two faces to split. Select the straight line as a splitting tool. With our newly created split lines, we have pretty much rounded up all the unsightly faces. Activate the Surface tab. Control select all these faces and press Delete. With this, the fragmented faces have been removed and the solid body becomes a surface body with a hole. Go to Create, Patch. With Enable Chaining checked, select this loop. Group the edges together so that we can define the same continuity option for all of them. To achieve the best blend with the adjacent faces, let's select Curvature Continuous. Go to Modify, Stitch. Select the patch surface and the main surface body and stitch them into one single solid. It is often hard to define which faces to split and how we split them. This is an exercise that is more art than science. You will need to exercise your best judgement as to what will be the neatest way of splitting the faces. So the next time that you are faced with uncooperative fillets, do give this a try.